we're live on YouTube. What's up, guys? You out there making sure everything's working there? Uh, we are now going live on uh, TikTok here in just a few, just a few seconds. Um, and knock it out. And we're moving. So that being said, we are um, underway. How's the lighting looking to me, guys? <laughs> what is up on TikTok? Uh, while you guys join us, uh, Biden is speaking. The markets are not tanking. The Dow's going sideways. The NASDAQ is still rising. Biden is still, um, essentially, he's just issuing a, what he always does. You know, if, you, if you're not vaccinated, you know, you probably should. And, um, hey, to me, it's your own decision. I I could care less. Now, my kid's not back vaccinated, so not 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 a big fan of that. Um, but I'm vaccinated. It's a you know 30 year decision for me, but for my kid, it's a 70 year decision, right? So it holds a whole, whole little more weight. So all right, Dow uh, up one one and a half today, going sideways. Nasdaq still grinding out up two. Three, five. So uh, we all the gains or all the losses we had yesterday have been completely erased, and the S and P is also up. Now I'm 15 minutes. Uh, I'm on the 15 minute candle, and I'm uh, five minutes behind. So uh, if if Biden behind me, you can probably see it there. But it's it's funny because they have the charts up while he's speaking, right? To know <laughs> it's <laughs> it's the national. Media. It's Bloomberg, but they have the charts up, right? And they're all, you know, doing their thing. And they just want to see if the, if the, if if, uh, if he blows up the market or not. Look, every sector is green except healthcare. It looks like to me, maybe consumer defensive is down today. Uh, those were just really strong y yesterday. Um, so he, I don't think he's really talking about. It. So let's talk about uh, Good afternoon, my favorite trader, learning. What's up, brother? Uh, learning to trade. Hey, uh, really quick, I, I want to talk about the alerts that we had yesterday. Uh, we had a hell of a great, um, we had some help. This week's been good to us, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not lying. Let me get back. So we, we had we had EVFM that we called last night. Now, now it, it, it had gapped up last night 22%. So I was really kind of scared to call EVFM. I called it. It gapped up 11% this morning and ran to 26. Ran to 26%. So, that being said, you should have got at least 10% on that one. The next one is J-A-K-K-S. Again, you got to watch the videos on a daily basis. It's one minute of your time. I'm, I'm telling you, we're about 74, 75% now, right? Again, not financial advice. Don't bet the house on any one trade, but we're damn good this year. And we're in a choppy market too. So, and I think we'll be damn good when the market starts starts doing this too, right? Let's let's hope that's not anytime soon. But we did J A K K. Uh, it gapped up five percent. It ran to twelve percent. So uh, we we saw a small gap up last night when we called it. Really wasn't concerned with that. I, I didn't I didn't think it'd gap up five percent though. So. Uh, and then we had uh, APTO is uh, it's more or less a push. It, it, it gapped up six. It went to eight. So it wasn't a loser. Just wasn't a big winner. That's the thing, right? So uh, that is what we had uh, for yesterday. Again, we're we're just one of those channels that's very time sensitive. That I know it's, it, it probably sucks to type, type in stocks to watch or or, or sorry stocks stocktrade.tips, right? And uh, every day to to get that, but it's kind of what you got got to do, right? If you want to win, you got to put a little work in, into it. So there you go. Let's 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 talk about some stocks now. Uh, first up, we're gonna go to Hib H I B B little Hibit Sports. Um, they were talking about how uh, the 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 luxury brands were doing good today. Not that Hibit Sports is a luxury brand, but they were talking about retail luxury brands. They like doing. Uh, Faring very, very well during the pandy, if you would. All right, we are at, we're about five, four and a half percent. We're at 68. We're definitely off the low. Uh, it based out back in 
It looks like in uh, March it's 60. You know, it's not a bad, look. It's it's not the worst stock. You uh, you got a line here at 69, so you're at 68.25. Um, I think you could probably nibble there above the 70 mark. I, I start to really really nibble. I mean, it's still coming down, but but it's kind of bouncing down, right? So again, it's it gets up above a good one green daily candle above 70. I start to nibble. Now, question is, where do you get like longer? Well, you can start getting longer about 77, but you're still going to hit the 200 day and the 50 day um, above that. So again, clearly it's 78 ish, and then you go to 84 ish. Again, I say ish because look, it's not a pencil line, guys. When people do TA, they're not drawing a pencil line. It's a marker, right? It's not. It it, it, it doesn't always hit it just exactly, right? But it's within a, a couple points, right? So again, on HIBB, pretty easy. At 70, I'd start to nibble, but I really wouldn't get into it. It's, this, this, this is clearly laid out here too, guys. It's 78, and then boom, where I start to really pound this thing at, um, it would be that 80, let's call it 80, it's 83.70, but I, I pound it at, at that point because that, that's going to be, it's going to be a good uptrend at, at that point. And it was just there, like literally late November. So it's been there within a month. So there you go on, on the hill. Uh, what's up, dude? Good to see you guys, man. What's up, Miss Tink? Miss Tink, did you see the calls last night? We went too big. One, you should have got at least twelve percent on. So, uh, and the day before, we had one go. Uh, so one ran to twenty six percent today, but it gapped up eleven. The one yesterday, you should have gotten about fifteen percent. So, uh, there you go. Appreciate it. Uh, Miss Tink shared live video, encourage more. Thank you, thank you, Miss Miss Tink. H bar, uh, going to crypto bubbles here. H bar is not as big today as it's been. Um, kind of find it on on here really quickly. Uh, what's up? What's up today is Loop Ring is showing very very significant relative strength. H N T all always C D X, which is curve, uh, and then R N D R. Don't know much about that one. XRP is up seven. Hex is doing good. Hex has been on, on a run. Let me do for the week though. Um, for the week, H bar is up thirty four percent. It's probably in the top ten, but uh, but who's performing better is going to be uh, Hex, Avax, One, Luna, uh, Curve, Airweave. So uh, there's a lot, but H bar is there. Uh, you gotta love H bar. Let me look at the. Uh, let me look at the um, TA on H bar and see what the price action is today on H H bar. It's gonna be good. Um, is it down today? It's down. What the hell? Uh, is this? Yeah, H H bar. Why is it down today? That's very odd. Um, yeah, you're you're gonna stay stay along here. Clearly. There's TA at, 20, at 23, you're 31, you stay long. Where do you get longer at? You're not too far away from it. Uh, 34, and then clearly you get long at 41. So pretty simple, simple, simple TA for the H bar. I do like the H bar. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, that's Toby. What's, what's up, brother? What up, brother man? Mother man, what's up, man? Good to see you. Uh, the hood. Somebody's wanting the hood. Let's look, look at the hood. Uh, is it still going down? Um, is Kathy Wood still buying? <laughs> it is still going down. It's up today 4%. 4%. Um, it's had a decent week, but it's still doing. It did this, and then it's doing that. that, that, that just. Again, did, you know this thing was at 80 bucks. Now we're at 18 Literally four months ago, five months ago. Can't help it help you here. You might try to nibble. At, it's at 1884. You might try to nibble about 23. That puts you above the 20 day. And then it's really a crapshoot because it's just like where, where you would really get long is above is above 40, right? That, that's where it's clearly 
you would get along, right? But again, it's the hood. Let me tell you something too. Uh, the short interest on this, uh, a lot of insiders have been selling, but that's probably because of the I, of the IPO. So it's cat catching that, not seeing the high short interest. I will say this: I was on a, uh, I was on Reddit two nights ago and reading about Hood, Robin Hood, and um, yeah, they hate it. So as much as we thought that it might be a meme stock, no. Nope. It hadn't really played out like that. It played out, 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 out like that maybe the first month or two, tops, but not anymore. Uh, what's up, Hannibal the Cannibal? Love it. Uh, how's the Al Algorand chart? Hey, the Algo is doing good. Let me just tell you, that, that's probably one of the top five this year that has done just insane things. Well, today it looks damn good, right? It's up, it's up four. Let's see what's done. Let's go year, year to date. Um, uh, I, th I thought it looked better. So you've got some good. So one. So you're at what? 135, 121 is some some, some, some support. Uh, where do, where do I get long in this thing though? Right at 161. Right. That's where I get. I start to get long. Start 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 to pound the out out I'll go there. You're at one. 35 but again it's a, it's a hole for me right now in fact i i would probably nibble here uh let me look at the relative strength really quickly on um uh on algo and let me find it on here um i'm not seeing it for the week showing relative strength and that that makes a lot of sense because it's been it's been going down um and, and, it's, and it's certainly not gonna be on the daily so um be what i i am Algorand is one of again the top five this this year. Um, I could probably do um, the day no okay, but but anyway, the, the thing about Algorand is it's got one of um, what's the market cap? So it's got eight point five billion dollar market cap, a fully diluted of thirteen billion. So how how much higher can it go? Here's the thing. If you're fully d diluted at 13 billion, how much higher could it go? It could do a, uh, I, could, I bet to get to the top 10, it would do a 2X. To get in the top five, it would do a three, three, three and a half X. So, which is very, very possible because it's been move, moving up. Uh, I believe Ava, if, if I had to put it up against AVAX, I'd go with a AVAX for right, for right now though. So there you go. Appreciate it. How's the algorithm? Uh, crow. Let's, uh, the Crow is one of my favorites. I still, I still haven't got their credit card yet. It's been like a month. So I don't know. It, I mean, I need, need to look if I've done something wrong. All right. So it's broken down. I can tell I can. So just so you know, I continue to hold their support, but it's not great support. At, literally at 42. It's at 52 now. Um, where could you get long? You can get longer at, let's, I mean, it's at 59. Let's, let's call it 60 ish. Right. And then you can get real long at that 77, right? We're not too far away from that. Crow, crow could pump. Now again, it, above 50, 53, you, you start to add above 81. You go real, real long. That is, uh, the Fibonacci ex extensions that, that, that we did probably three, three weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm a big, Holder of crow, I wouldn't say I'm a whale, but uh, I've been in crow for a very, very long time. Just been at, just started to add this uh, this year. Probably adding around, I want to say, uh, 19, 20, 25, 35. You know what I mean? So there you go. It's kind of where I'm at. Uh, what's up, Kevin? Good to see you, bro. Uh, this is uh, what this is. F Fusix, love it. The laggers for 21 might be the winners for 20. Uh, very true. I, I tend I, I tend to uh, go with the relative strength, right? Um, the laggards um, tend, if they're going to start showing up, they start showing up um, when a catalyst takes place, right? So here's the thing. Like, like I can't tell you what's gonna, which one's going to do what. There's 17,000 cryptos out, out, 
out there. I just look at relative strength, right? What's the relative strength? If, if the relative strength of your stock or your crypto is under 30 and specifically under 20, you need to rethink the crypto f un until it gets above that. You really, really do. That's not a good crypto, right? If, if, you're, if it's doing this continually, like, like look at the hood. It was at 80 bucks. It's at 8, 18. It's, it really hasn't had an up day. It's not doing this at all. It's doing this. So point is, is that relative strength counts. I, I, I look at one, the price, two, the trends, and three, relative strength. If the trend's good, the relative strength's going to be good. If you hear somebody go, oh, well, it's overbought. There's a reason it's overbought because it's doing this. It's going straight to freak up. So there we go. There, I'll, I'll get off. We think about DDWAC. I don't think a lot about DWAC right now. I do like what they're doing. Now, here's the thing. I, I, I like the acquisition part, right? Here's the thing. If, if, if Trump's guys go in there and they try, try to start to develop something, get out of it. That's not that he should not do that. There's no developers that are going to work for Trump. None of them. Now, if they go in there and they start, you know, buying assets, let's say the New York Post, they're they're buying, you know, whatever magazine or TV or social network, which I think they did. Did didn't they make a play for whatever the 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 right social network was? I'm trying to think of the name. Um, but anyway, that's what they need to do, and that's why the stock pop. If they keep doing that, as long as they don't actually build from scratch, I'm telling you, he he may have something here, right? I'm not sure who if, if he's really in control of it, um, but he may have some here. So, DWAC, uh, below 37, I'd probably jump out. Uh, but right now, it's a hold. It, it, it did pump to 66 at 50, 51 now. So, this, this thing, any good news is going to pump this thing, right? I mean, you you get the CEO that's suing I don't know some some congresswoman right now. There's a lot of things going on here, but my my point with DWAC is it's a hold for sure. And if you hear a catalyst, an upcoming catalyst that might happen, jump in big because it's going to go up. It's just there's so many supporters there. You know, right or wrong, whether you like him or not, right? Completely agree with both sides, right? But here's the thing. He could really, really, really uh, put an imprint here if he starts buying big assets. And I'm talking like the New York Times type type stuff. You know what I mean? So that's my, uh, that's my, that's me on, uh, on uh, DWAC. Uh, we might be seeing a bit of market, uh, a, a bull. So could this be the start of the, Santa so I think Fisher asked, could this be the start of Santa Claus rally? Dow has not broken down. Uh, Biden is finally off now. NASDAQ continues to grind up. We're up 2.25% now. I know that doesn't make a lot of, um, uh, you know, you could care less. You just care about your, your stocks. But the thing about it is, there's only two or three sectors down today. That's healthcare, consumer de defensive, and utilities. All three of those were up yesterday, which is kind of weird. This market is as well. It's just a, a lot of chop. The, the average NASDAQ stock, right? So the NASDAQ has got like, like 2,000 2, stocks, right? Um, maybe more. Um, but the average stock is down, well, as of yesterday, it was down 38%. Today, it's probably down 37%. But the average NASDAQ stock, not the top 100 and not the top 1,000, but the average NASDAQ stock is down 37% this year. So, so we've been in a correction since May. Under the surface, we've been in a correction since, since May. The only thing that's been holding us up in the S&P S, S, SPY going like that is the megas. That's it. In, in, in fact, what is Tesla doing today? Just, just so I know, because they were off yesterday. They above a thousand. They're nine thirty-one. They've reversed. They're up three, three and a half. So uh, as long as we stay above eight hundred on Tesla, we'll be fine there as well. Uh, what do you think about Lyft? You know, Lyft. I hadn't even looked at Lyft in uh, since they went public, and it's just. Nobody ask about them, and I can see why. So they just been going down, right? So based out at about three three days ago at thirty six, you're up to four forty nine. You've got a nice green six percent candle today. Uh, as as we go into the last uh, hour before close, I've got a uh, so I have done this stock before because I've got a line here at forty at forty five ish. So I start to kind of 
nibble some, right? At 45, and then you can get now again at 45. Though you still got the you still got to defeat the 50, the 50, the 50 day, right? And that's a big big deal. So I can't tell you to get long in the stock until really, it's, it's not that far away, man. If you get to 445, 56 at 56, you'll be above the 200 day and uh, the upper trend line as well. So 56, right? So 445. Let's let's get there. Let's talk again. But but 56, you can bang it, baby. You. You can smash that thing all day long. Lift will be back because it'll be a, a great up, uptrend. I don't see any insider selling. Uh, I see a tar target price of 68 bucks too. So not not the worst place to be right right now. If I'm you, it's a hold, right? And uh, and we we just hope this is the Santa Claus rally. The SCR is what they call it all on the street. There you go. All right, shop it is. Shop is up. Um, this is one of the few stocks I hold in my 401k individual stocks. One of the few. Uh, I used to have Square in there until Square did this. All right. Got a, uh, clearly I've done this stock stock before. So 1300 is where I would jump out. You're at 1364. It broke 1300 yesterday. It bounced back today. That's good to see. Um, because if it had broken that again, it was going to break all, all the way down to uh, 1250. It's up. Where do you get long in this? I think right now it, it's it's definitely a hold, right? Um, if I were going to trade this, I need to be above fifteen hundred because that clears the two the the twenty day the two hundred. Oh, what? So I, I couldn't see it because there's a lower trend line. So you so what's causing the resistance right now is the two hundred day bull bear pivot. It gets above that. It's in or bull territory. I'd like to see it. I'd start to nibble. At about four, well, it says fourteen ninety eight, but let's just call it fifteen hundred. That's what I would do. Uh, relative strength is rising, but a lot of price action. It did this all, you know, all year, and then it pumped, and then it's back down, went down to that thirteen hundred, and then bounced back up today. Crazy how that works. Not a lot of. Um, it's seventy percent uh, institutionally owned, so you big Wall Street guys are behind it. And there's been no insider tra transactions in the past 90 days, so that is good. I am a bullish, uh, bullish shot. I actually like like Lyft too. I, I don't hold Lyft. I'm sure in some ETF I've, I've got Lyft. Uh, hey brother, uh, we think about ALDX. Um, ALDX is a little bit interesting. Uh, I know that this was a, a call of ours like three like three weeks ago, uh, which which look. If you do follow our calls, again, not financial advice, and don't bet the house, but they're one-day calls. They're good for one day. That's it. Sometimes we'll give you a swing trade that we like, but in these choppy markets, you want to hit it and quit it. I mean, if you get 4 5 6%, take the money and run. If you get a 250% one, take the money and run. It's the same exact thing. So where did we base out this year? We based out at 650 uh, ish about four days ago, uh, which would have been what for Friday, and so maybe Thursday. Um, so this is a very very tough one. So clearly, you could probably you're at oh it dropped oh I, I didn't even see the red candle oh my god it's down fifty one percent yeah bro this is not a buy the dip yet so uh, so in in cases like like this where 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 it dropped out. It's 349 this was a $16 stock in late April so it drops out to 349 here, here's what you want to see I'm gonna to try to help you here if you're in this stock one you should have gotten out but two if you're gonna hold it you want to see it at least go sideways or, or you know but if it continues to do this you gotta you gotta jump out so uh, oh, it sucks for you bro I'm sorry man it's got a small float so it can it, 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 it can pump so I'd like to see it go sideways and try to make a little bit up and then come back and talk to me then. But yeah, but there's a big gap there. So let's let's just say that it gets to 415 and it starts a really good up uptrend gets to 415. It'll absolutely jump to 650 very, very quickly. Maybe a week, maybe two weeks, because there's a big gap there to fill. Did not see that big red candle going down. Good lord. Uh, 
I, this is not, this wouldn't be a stock that I, I would be holding right now because this thing could, look uh, and relative strength is under 20 it's at 919 and if you don't think things can, can go to zero crude went to what negative 30 this time last year just so just so you know what's up Abe and ATX love it brother uh, I, I mean this year forgot the uh, S&P 500 it's, it, it, it's the S S&P 5 you're exactly right there's you are hitting uh, this year Microsoft Apple Amazon Google Nvidia, I would take Amazon out of that and put in Tesla. But you're right, though. You're you're you're, you're absolutely right, Kyle. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Uh, crypto mooning soon. Um, I, we need to see. Uh, we need Ethereum to hold 3,900, which clearly it's doing to today. It's at four four thousand. It's got to hold. Uh, it needs to hold a 3,900 for a week, though. Okay, so now we're on this weekly basis to get us back to into more of a bullish market. Bitcoin's got to get above 53. For me to start buying Bitcoin again, it's going to be above 53. Now, again, if it gets to 50 and gets rejected, you might put some, you you, you might short it some. I wouldn't like that, you know, because I'm, I'm a Bitcoin bull. I'm a crypto bull. But if it keeps, re it keeps rejecting off the 50-day, at some point, it's going to break it. But if it does it once or twice, you, and it comes down, I would I, that, that might be a shorting opportunity. But again, it breaks 50. Now we got some momentum here. Now, again, it needed to break 47. Now it's at 48. So now we need to break 50. But 53 is where I get real long. I start smash, smashing bit, Bitcoin again. There you go, Tuscany. Appreciate you. Thoughts on Micron in, in, in MU? Yeah, I had a great, uh, great earnings call up to date 10 days. Doing good, yeah, dude. I'm smashing this all day, all day, all day long. Not just a whole. It, this is a buy now. I I had a, a line at 84, 94. You're at 90. Now watch the sell off some, right? If the Santa Claus rally is tr truly here, it will. You know, it it, it kind of did this, and all of a sudden, boom, right? It needs to continue to do that for a couple more days. If that if if, if the Santa Claus rally is tr truly here, you'll have that. But I'm telling you. Get another day, one more day, that a green day underneath your belt. I start smashing that bad boy. I really do, man. That that's a this is a good stock. Semis are are, are really good area to look at. In uh, NVDA, in video is good, but but look at ABV, ABBV, one, probably the best one as far as as far as the TA and charts. But ABV, let me get you another uh, semi that I like. Let me look at my notes here. I, I had it written down. Uh, uh, M M U. This one here, A V G G O and M C H P are very very good semis. I think the E T F is uh, S O X X. If it, if I'm right, socks. Yes, I think that's the uh, E T F. So if you want the if you, if you want the full basket of them all, that's been doing this. In fact, what what have socks been doing really quick? And make sure that's the right one. Yeah, dude, it's a buy. It's a buy, 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 buy. Yeah, yeah. It's a 527. It, 550 was its all time high. Bam. There you go. Uh, crypto booming soon. I did answer that one. I think, again, we've got to get through uh, some some technical levels, but I don't think all coins, uh, you know, it's not too far away. I don't, I don't, I don't think all seasons too far away. Let's just say that. that that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. All right, pretty appreciate it, man. Uh, a A B B. Um, I have looked. I have, have I seen that one? Um, uh, Asia broad broadband. Yes, nice. So you can let's see. So based on this is, is clearly this was probably a spac or, or some st such or some, something. But anyway, yeah, I think right here like. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I think you can, you can start to nibble here. Um, where I'd really start to pound, though, is at 27 cents or 25 cents. So, yeah, you're really close. Uh, this is the te technical say. Um, they are not bearing out anything right now. The technicals are hold. So, there you go. Appreciate it. Um, what else is up? Great. Thank you. Pre pre appreciate you guys being here. Uh, the RSI is different on all time frames. So which yeah the the uh, the uh, fourteen, the 
the 14 day. That that's the one you got to look at. You, you you can't look back any further than that. There's some there, there's some reasons for that. Um, you know your 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 CMTs can tell you more about that. It's just like it's just like you know VIX. How how do you find out how 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 much the market's going to move that day? Well, it's you take the VIX and you divide by six sixteen. Why do you divide by six sixteen? I don't know. That's just the formula, right? But yes, four, 14 uh, D4. Love it, brother. Uh, ETH will flip BC. Um, 90 times soon. 90 times soon. Um, eventually, yeah. Probably will. Um, I, like, like I, I see a lot of these, you know, 500,000, a million for Bitcoin. I think Sailor came out and said, hey, it's going to be 6 million. I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe not in my lifetime, for sure. Um, but do I think a hundred thousand? Do I think two fifty? Yeah, yeah. So, but um, th there was one theory that's been going around for about three, four years now that at fifty k, uh, Bitcoin would start to imp kind of implode up on on itself. It's, it, it it just becomes too heavy for the market, right? Um, you know, because there's only 21 million coins, 4 million of those coins are already lost. 90% have, have been mined, right? So there is this theory out there at 50K, which it's clearly gone past, starts to implode. So if it does get to like, you know, it, it went it went close to 70. If it can get up to like 80, 90, 100, that theory goes away. Because it just went up there for a couple days and came right back down. So we'll see. Um, I don't subscribe to that theory. I just want to let you know that, that that's a theory xrp is hot today it is hot today let me look at my bubbles uh on the day xrp is up 5.6 percent uh it is it's probably a top 10 uh token today for the week uh xrp is probably a top uh 15 token for the week uh it's uh 14 percent for the week not nice to see xrp as far as the TA. Let's look. Let's see what we're looking at here. Great, great day to day. Let's look at the year to date. So, really not that bad. So, base here. I'd say it's six. I'd say it's sixty-seven. You're at ninety-two. You got nothing to worry about there, right? Where you start. Where you start getting long about one thirty. Uh, one thirty-three is where I start start buying XRP again. Uh, XRP is being restric restricted a lot. The problem with the price is, is it's just being restricted at a lot of big exchanges. That's that's the problem. You can love, you know, you can get on Binance and VPN and and you can get some. Don't get me wrong, but for the 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 common guy that's just you know investing slowly, investing in uh, top ten, top twenty coins, when you can't get it on these American exchanges, it kind of hurts. It's you know, especially Coinbase. Voyager restriction. I believe crypto.com restricted too. I, I could be wrong about that one. So fact check me there, but there you go um, What's up in the house JC money? Good to see you, brother uh, DEFTF I'm not even sure what that is RC investments, but I will look on my uh, Trading view. Let me let me do it again. DEF DEFTF uh, OTC nice not a bad chart um, this, well, let me, I'm, I'm going back to 2012 now. So it's not a bad chart. I, actually, so you're actually sitting. So where it is now at that two, at, at 224, understand it's got serious going back literally nine years of, and it's clear at 192, let's call it. Call it 1998, two, two ish, right? You've got serious support, right? Where you get long is really clear in this. I think you can nibble right here, clearly on the um, uh, from the time frame of this year. Absolutely, it's got you've got some s s support from this year, uh, but it's clear where where you get long. 247, so 250 ish, you get long. Um, that's not a bad stop. Um, that looks to be moving up now. It's been when did when did it stop moving? Stop moving up what? 
mid-November. It went down. It's had some good and bad days. Really, it, I mean, it, it doesn't move around that much, right? I mean, if you look at the chart, let me see if I can really. That's a nice stock. I have no idea what, what they do, but DeFi Technologies tells me what they might might do. So, yeah, man, nice. RC Investments. I think, you, I think you've been on my live before. Appreciate you, man. Uh, but you can divide it uh, to you absolutely can. So you're talking about Bitcoin? Yeah. You can absolutely go 16 sats in, right? But, you know, once, once you get in, in, into three decimal places over, you really start to lose people, especially the Zoomers and the Boomers, right? So, uh, so sorry, especially the Boomers for sure, right? Because they don't understand when you when you, you can cut that up. But, yeah, you, you absolutely can. You're absolutely right. So, um, and and that, that's a very good good point. What's up, Mark? Good, good to see you. Uh, RVNC. Let's see what we've got. RVNC. Uh, now, here it is. So, I, what did I say? I thought you could get long at 1519. And it looks like it's, uh, if, you did, if you did that, it would, it would go, it's been going up. I would think it would go up faster, though. But you're at, you're at 17. Um, yeah, this is like, so you've got a big gap between where you are 17 and about 1950, right? Absolutely. So you, I mean, it's, it did this all, all year, you know, just this, right? And it, then it just broke down, I'm guessing it missed a, something to do with the FDA, a FDUFA day to phase, phase one or phase, phase two trial didn't, didn't pan out, goes down, uh, bases out around, Right above twelve, it's at seventeen now. But just it just started doing this, right? But it's going up though. So I I think I think this is a hold. You might even nibble here just because the momentum behind it since uh, what uh, November twenty eighth, right? So you're above the twenty day. You're above the fifty day. So that's not bad. And I I, I can see this thing filling this gap pretty quickly here. I bet this thing's back about nineteen fifty within two within two weeks at least, maybe less. So we just got to get some momentum in this market. Today's a really, really big day. I thought today would actually happen on Monday. Um, that was not the case. Um, remember what I said yesterday too? Tom Lee's predicted this. So Tom Lee runs Fundstrat. If you don't, if you don't know who Fundstrat is, they're a, they're a data analytics firm on Wall Street. He's got no dog in the hunt, whether you're left or right, whether you want the buyer to stick around or not. Nobody clearly does, but it, but it sounds like the news media does. Point is, he says that it, it, it took the Omicron virus to peak out in, uh, in South Africa 23 days. We can probably expect the same thing. Why is he right? Because he was right about Delta. Delta took 53 days to peak out. Uh, in South Af in South Africa, I believe I could pull up the tweet. Uh, so I really need to do. I think he said here. Let me look at it. He's at fun at Fundstrat F U N D S T R A T guys. You really need his his, his, his name's Tom Lee. He worked for J P Morgan since 1982. Went out on his own like in 2005. Let me get um, exactly what the um, what it says. All right, so it peaked out. It, it took, uh, Omicron took 25 days to peak out in South Africa. So that's what, that's what we expect here. The, the Delta surge for, for India and for us peaked out in the, almost the exact same time. 52 days, right? We were, we were 54. So he's, he's basically saying in 25 days, this should peak out. So he's got this starting it though. Literally... He's got it going in like late November. So he's thinking this thing peaks out. He thinks it peaked out. In fact, he thinks it pe peaked out in 2012. He thinks we're on the down end of this already. So again, go follow him on Funstrat. I've got no ties to him. He's just a very, very smart man. Occasionally he's on CNBC. He's really, really, really good. Like, like he, he, he definitely knows the stuff, right? So, all right. Um, JC, we, we need SC approval once it does. Uh, so if you're talking about XRP, it needs uh, SEC for sure 
once it does, uh, yes. So if you're talking about X, X, XRP, once they get S or once they get past the SEC lawsuit, boom, pound it. Now, if you're talking about so uh, RC, I think you're talking about something else though. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the uh, the uh, D E F T F. Yes, totally agree. Uh, because you're gonna know more about that than me. You're in the Discord. You're in the subreddits. I, I I'm just looking at price T A relative strength. So there you go. Appreciate it, man. Uh, J C. Tell me what's going on with the uh, uh, the best biotech stock out there. Man, I'm not doing CRTX today. I'm just not. Until it gets to 20, talk to me at 20. And then we'll see what it does. Be because at 20, you, 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 you know what it's going to do. It's going to start doing that. And it's going to do it quickly up until, uh, what did I say? Up until um, at 20, it goes to... Oh yeah, this is the one that runs all the way to like 34. So, all right, JC, I see you. I see, it's it's moving again. Yeah, yeah, it, it's up a whole three and a half percent, brother. Why do you take yourself and stretch yourself out with the stocks doing this or uh, wait this or this, right? Why do you stretch yourself out? Get to get the stocks that are doing this, right? Even they're a little chomp at the, at, the, at the top. That's far less stressful than than. This or I just I just can't understand. Now, if you were in in this stock, you know, back, I mean, even back in April, March, May, June time frame, you're underwater here. So I'm not sure when you bought, um, but it's got a high high short interest, which which you know, and it can absolutely pump. So it's it's got a small float. By by the way, insiders have been selling. Just so you know. Uh, all right, what else is up? It's moving again. I love it. Buying XRP is not investing in Ripple's deals with uh, banks. Ripple has no public shareholders. That is correct. If I could, I, if I could invest in Ripple and not XRP, I absolutely would. Right? Uh, somebody said, "Is it XRP? One or two has twenty-seven trillion dollars in their treasury to get them on board." So I, I want to say that that's that's XRP. But again, Mark, you're gonna know more about that than me. All, all I'm saying is XRP and Ripple, yes, they're connected. But what I'm saying is, if they can defeat the SEC, XRP's, I'm not saying it's, gonna, it's going to the moon, but it'll get close. It's, it's, it's gonna to go to that $350, $3 plus at least, right? Uh, and crypto will celebrate with it. That might be the start of all, all season, all, although that might not be for six months, seven months now. So. But we got to get past Gary Gensler. They keep firing the Trump guys who are kind of pro, more, they're more pro crypto. Gensler, you would think, would, would be because he taught it, but he's not. He, he, like, he wants to treat them as a, as a completely different, um, like, we need the regulation, but, but I think he's, he's trying to overstep his bounds, but we definitely need some regulation to understand what the hell's going on. Gensler, I don't know if is that guy. So... Um, remember me, ATVI. Okay, ATVI and, and uh, well, I I can tell you T AT and T. Oh, it did base out at twenty twenty two to twenty twenty four. When can you get long? It looks what's what's holding you back right now. The resistance is, is it the fifth. You're at the fifty day resistance mark. So where can you start to nibble here? Twenty six in the AT and T. Uh, after that. Talk to me because you still got to clear the, the, the 200 day. It's, but it, it's had four good days, though. Four really, really strong days. So And, and they sold Xander today for a, for a bill. I don't even know. what I, I think Z, was Xander the website? I'm not even sure what that was, right? So, But anyway, I saw it. What's up, man? Good to see you. Bada bing. What's up, brother? Uh, thanks. I know. I know. I know you know. I, I, I just like to, you know, bring it home to you. Uh, let me go back. A, ATVI, because I, I hadn't looked at a, ATVI in a while, too. Bada bing. Activision. So, clearly, I think they... So, it, from what, I, what I've what read, it looks like some of the labor issues are coming to an end. Again, that's nothing, nothing to do with TTA. But I think that, that, that's why the stock's kind of scooping now, right? So... Price action's been it's it's been positive it's been up, um, but 
we need to get along though. That's the thing. Here we go again. I mean, I'd be holding here. I'm not sure if I'm buying, but I'm holding here at 63. You based out at 56. It's 70. 70, and then at that point, it will move very quickly to 73. And then and then let's let's talk again, bada bing. Because you got a lot of work to do in 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 that stock. A lot of work. You, you know what I mean? Uh doesn't need use uh, XRP XRP Ripple but doesn't need use cases. Well, I mean they're 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 trying to sell it to, to the banks, right? So XRP's been a lot like I've I've met Brad before. So I, I, I was at a LA blockchain in 2018. Is that what it was? Yep. It was the very first first one and uh, Garden House was out the, out there. So they're definitely targeting the banks. Uh, at that time, it was remittances. I, I remember his speech fairly well. Um, but yeah, they've got a treasury to do a lot, a lot of uh, damage when, when they get out, out of this. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But again, everybody's going to rejoice if XRP or if if uh, Ripple can get out of the uh, uh, SEC lawsuit, which which I I really believe they can. Thoughts on? Omar, uh, I'm in at 694. Omar, uh, I didn't know you're in that one. It's it, it's it's in the it's in the R right. Uh, love the price action. Love uh, O M E R. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, I'm, oh, same as your last stock, bro. So uh, you, at least you're doing this right. Like it, it did this, and at least you're doing kind of like this. So uh, talk to me when it gets to 9.58, as you know, at 9.58, because that, that's where it fell on, uh, looks like October 1, at 9.58, you will absolutely run to very quickly to 13 bucks, very, very quickly. But again, another you are the king of biotech, another biotech. Uh, and, and they've been shitty all year, though. Last year, you'd be up like 200%. This year, not, not not so much. Well, oh yeah, so it'll hit eight thousand. It's not gonna be this year. Will it be next year? Um, the problem with ETH is it's it's not a TA problem, right? Gas fee, just fix it. Vitalik knows that. They all know it. If it wants to be the king of layer one, that they're they're giving all of these other layer ones some serious momentum. Avax, looking at Solana, all those if. If Ethereum had done what they were supposed to do, those guys wouldn't even be around, right? They're getting killed. Um, so do away with it. But here's the thing. They've got a real problem with their miners, right? Because they're screwing the miners going to proof of stake. I totally agree with it, right? But the miners are going to take their pound of flesh, and that's what they're doing. They're taking their pound of flesh in the gas fees, and they're killing, they're literally killing Ethereum, right? You... You have multiple layer ones coming up, up, up now. Luna's coming up, Cardano, right? I mean, good God, if if, if they would just get away with doing with the gas fees, just you know what? Here's what they ought to do: rip the bandaid off, just rip it off, and move on, right? Suffer for like a month or two, and it'll go right back up. Does it get to eight thousand? Absolutely. Does it do it next year? No. If I if I had to guess, no. I do think it hits five, six, seven grand. I'm not sure if it hits eight. Now, if you talk to to Raul Paul, he'll tell you it's going to, to twenty thousand. But again, that's just that's just what I, I I see. I don't even like using tokens now because of the gas fees. That's a big problem, and that's me, right? I've been in crypto since two two thousand or Bitcoin since two thousand twelve, right? Now it's called crypto. Back then it was just Bitcoin. So all right, uh, that that's my rant. Uh, uh, how do you look uh, up an ETF expense ratio? Uh, I do it on Yahoo uh, on Yahoo Finance. It it, it it has a lot more. I don't know if you can do it in um, in Finviz or not. Um, there should be one. Um, I don't have a lot of time to look for it, but I know Yahoo's got it. I'm sure Finviz has got it somewhere. Um, but um, most are going to be at least like if they're good, they're going to be one. The really, really 
good ones are, are going to be one and a half. If you're paying over one and a half, it's not that is not an ETF you want to be in. Those those type of fees will kill you, right? If you're paying one percent over, let's say thirty years, that's third that's thirty percent, right? That would have compounded, and really really. Um, in fact, I I was talking to to my dad literally three weeks ago, and I was telling him that his his wealth manager guy, it's not that he, he's got a lot, but his wealth manager guy's taken a point and a half. Point and a half for 50 years or for 40 years, right? You know how much money that would have been? Yeah, maybe seven figures for my dad that he would still have in, in there. Now, somebody's got to manage it and they need to get paid. They need, do they need to get paid You know, a, a percent and a half? No, they don't. But if you're an ETFs and you have a, 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 a wealth manager guy one and a half to him and then one and a half to each etf now you got three percent that's a big deal right you've got to watch those expenses that that's why you you've got these uh these robo ad advisors that just charge the one percent but again they're putting you into ET etfs as well so understand that all right uh love the action yes i do uh att going to spin off um is it I, I, I don't know if I can agree with that, but but something's going on, right? Four days, Xander was just announced today, so maybe the street knew about it yesterday. Um, so maybe it does spin off. What's it going to spin off into? Like Warner Brothers and whatever else they have. So they they have a lot. Plus, they're, they're based here in Dallas. You want to see their... They're corporate. They've done a, some big, big things. The lights are phenomenal. It's crazy. It's very, very, very cool. All right. Appreciate you guys. Um, at and uh, Cardano uh, is H bar will be the death of many layers. I, I don't, I don't disagree. I, I, I can't tell you for sure, but I, but I don't disagree with that. So Cardano's got a lot of problems. Cardano should have had some really big news in December and it hadn't happened. All we see is Charles Hodgkin trying to kind of pump it some. I need more from him. I need some like like action. I need to see uh, some like DeFi apps, some layer two apps on top of Cardano. I'm not seeing that. Till I see that, I'll start buying again. And clearly, uh, I think that we're both right here because it's just gone down still. Now the overall crypto market's gone down, but it's gone down at, a, at, at more of a uh, a faster pace, right? Relative strength's really, really low there. So there you go. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't trust biotech stocks. Uh, I bought into Jern a few years ago back and luckily cashed in. Yeah. But, all right, so here's the thing with biotechs. They are catalyst, they're the most catalyst driven stocks that there is, right? Clearly when there's good, uh, you know, when there's something good on Netflix that does what, whatever, right? Every company's got catalyst events that, that make them go up. But, but biotech is amplified and it's very, very hidden. And that's the reason that hedge funds love biotechs because a lot of people don't understand biotechs. They, they don't uh, understand the Paducah dates and phase one, phase two, phase, uh, phase three. There's a lot to understand. And there's a lot of insider information, right, that these hedge funds get even sometimes before the company because they've got insiders in the FDA and they're paying them. And that happens a lot. In fact, there is a, a good episode on billions like in season two about biotech. It was like a two, it was a two episode thing. But yeah, but that's exactly what, I think it was uh, season two or three. But anyway, point being is a lot of hedge funds make their alpha. I'm not kidding you. They're, most of their, uh, uh, most hedge funds, their alpha comes from biotech. It's because they got insider information. Now the quants, not so much, um, but they're they're a bio, biotech. A lot of them are biotech specific hedge funds, and a lot of alpha comes out of biotech. I promise you for for just just the average hedge hedge fund. Uh, thoughts on uh, is, is is it B? Uh, it's happening. B B F R R I. Um, here we go. Uh, whoa, whoa, nice. This thing ran today all the way to 14. It ended up at 11. Time we got, we got, we got about nine minutes till close. Um, Randy, I mean, you gotta stay long here. I, I would watch the sus, 
a sell off though, but um, there there is some like there's not a lot, but if it goes below, like you really can't. There's not enough information, but if it goes below seven seven ninety five eight bucks, you might watch yourself again. I'd be I'd be taking profit. You're, you're up forty six percent today. Uh, it's got a high short interest. Clearly that squeeze today. And it's got a very, very, uh, a very small float at 3.6 million shares is all. That's crazy. So, uh, and the insider owned is 60, it's insider owned 69 percent. So that's very, very cool. It's probably because they hadn't got, got to sell their stock yet. But point being, it did definitely squeezed. 84 percent is the high short interest. That is one of that. That's got to be in the top three. It really does. So, do you stay with this? I, I might stay with it. I don't know if I'm buying here, but I might stay with it. See what's going on tomorrow for sure. You know, that's B R F. Uh, that's B F R I guys. Uh, and we had a little bit of a sell off, and then um, we sold off a little bit, but it's not much. Not, but it looks like we on the 15 candle. Looks like this last uh, seven minutes, we're going to go back up to where maybe the intraday high. We we will see. So I didn't I didn't turn on the AI today and look it's not so choppy for whatever reason it's probably because I'm I'm just streaming so much because I'm streaming on YouTube what's up guys what's up William Do Dogecoin I think you play it like I played it four years ago and if you didn't sell I would just hold it and I hope you don't have a lot in that I hope it's just enough for you that um, I just I look I. You could lose it all, but I hope you didn't put that much in into it. I put 300, 400 bucks in 2016. Turned out great for me. Hopefully, it'll do, do the same for you. I just don't don't know, right? Dogecoin's been has, has been going down. In fact, what is Doge doing today? Uh, uh, from a from a uh, a TA perspective, um, it's at 16 cents. Damn. So it's not the worst. Didn't didn't pump not too far. So. Clearly, you can see where you get you get long. You're on you, you, YouTube, so you can say at 34 cents you get long. So, but to 17, I would be almost 100 percent, 90 percent up. Um, if if you can sell right now, I think you sell at a profit. Um, Shiba has kind of moved into to the Doge category and has uh, the most 1,000 Ethereum addresses, I believe, right? Um, that's Sh Sh Shiba, but I think Shiba's kind of taking over what Doge did. Doge has its own, it, it, it's, it's its own coin, but um, I just think I just think it's it, it's a waiting game. If you want to hold, you may have to hold for, for four years, but e but Elon's gonna have something for the uh, Doge, so don't you worry. But it might be three years. We'll see. All right, what else is up, guys? Uh, uh, it is happening. Thoughts on, uh, should I sell my PTGX? I got it at 16. PTGX, let's, let's look. PTGX, before the bell, you're in at what? Um, give me that again. You're in at, dang it, I lost the damn. B, B, I love B, BBS. Crypto.com uh, and BBS, I actually bought some two weeks ago. Um, hadn't done a lot with it. I think you can stake it now, but again, Fact check me on that, but I like BVS. Yes, um, it, it's just kind of going side. It's sideways though, but that, that's okay. PTGX at sixteen forty three. You're at sixteen forty three, bro. Uh, I don't know if I'm selling here. Uh, the 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 trend's down, and, and it's coming to a wedge shape. So so typically nine percent of the time in a wedge shape, it uh, the uh, the stock will break with the overall trend. Well, your overall trend right now is down. So what I'm saying is when, when it comes in that wedge, and right now, today, at 32.27, where it's going to end the day at, that is the the upper trend line, the, the upper wedge coming down. That is, that's literally the resistance, right? Now, there's a 20-day and a and a 50-day right in there, too. So, um, so what is that a 20-day? It, it's all jumbled up, but it, but point is, I would hold right here. Uh, I think you might be, other, but it, it gets above 35. I'd really hold. 
Uh, you, if I were you, I'd probably take a little bit of profit off the table here just to make sure because this thing could really, really move down. Uh, I'm not saying real quick, but it, it could move down. But I, I, I think you're in a safe space. It's more of a hold for me right now. Again, get above that uh, that that 35 line, and then I start buying. I start buying more of it. So I, I mean, relative strength's good. It's got a smallish float. It's not going to pump, pump, but it, but it can be moved quickly. So right where you sit, right right now, this is very in, in, interesting, guys. You've you've you you've got the upper trend trend line. You've got the 50 day coming in. If this is the candle, the 50 days right here, the the trend lines right here, and the 20 days right here. So again, if you can defeat 33, 34, it's going to go to 35 easily. Right, um, and then there's a big gap between 37 and 444. So not a bad place to be. I think I think it's a hold for me. You might take a little profit just to make sure, but that'd be a hold for me. Again, not financial advice, just what I would do. I'm letting you know. What's up, JC? Uh, told me about a bean. I know you did. Uh, you're. You're a top guy from the UK. <laughs> Hannibal the Camel. Thanks, thanks, bro. Uh, again, VBS. I don't know much about it. I did buy it. Uh, I haven't read a lot, but from what I've read, it, it's uh, um, uh, a lot of. Look, they did their deal with Crypto.com. I, I have a lot of trust in Crypto.com in the way that, that they are running their company. Right. This was a app, and now their their name is literally now they're this huge exchange. Right. And their name is literally on the Staples Center for seven hundred million dollars. They're doing something right, right? You don't just go from a little app to that, like what in like like it's 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 not as fast as FTX, but it's pretty damn fast. So uh, VBS, I do believe in. Um, it's a hole for me though right now. Uh, can you give us your take on Engine Coin? Uh, I've been in Engine since twenty seventeen, probably twenty sixteen. Um, if I recall, but it's, uh, let me look at E N E N J. Um, what's it, what's it doing today? Here, let me look at the bubbles, uh, for the week. E N J. I don't see with the day. Um, no, I'm, I'm on crypto bubbles right now. It's kind of fun to look for it. Uh, all right. Uh, here we go. Good day up 4% today about like big Bitcoin. Uh, the three months does not look great. Um, I, okay, so it's literally what two forty three. So at two twenty, at two thirty, it's got some serious support there at two thirty. That that's why it keeps banging off off. It literally is banging off at two thirty ish. Uh, the last probably seven days or a month. Yeah. Off the last seven days for sure, the month is, well, for the month. No, no, sorry. For the seven days, the the month is more down. But it, if, it, if it breaks the 230, like in a big way, that's, that, that's a jump off point for, uh, for, for me. Again, I was in, in, in this coin under a bug. I mean, not that that means any, any, anything. Um, so where do you get long though, right? You could probably here, here, here at, 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 at three bucks, and, and you're not too far from that. It looks like the all time high was four four dollars and 70 cents. Three bucks is where I get long. Again, we buy high, we sell higher, right? Again, why is that? Why not buy low? Okay, well, well, when's the low? It just keeps going down, right? So, what you do is it's price is here, it starts going down, right? It's got to, it's got, it's got to literally make that cup, and when it comes back up. It hits that and that breakout. That's when you pound it. So that's why it's a buy high, sell higher, right? Because you never know when this is going to stop, right? This thing may get down to a cent. It may go to zero. So you do you, baby. What's up? Uh, you should get one share of the AT and T. What are we doing? I I know you were talking to me about the AT and T. Um, one share. Uh, yeah, because you, oh, you were the one that, that told me it was going to split. So, yeah. Um, 
I will buy some AT AT and T. Um, because it kind of, but it's just a shitty stock right, or it looks like a shitty stock right now. Uh, yes, but I think it's big time gamble. Yes, it is. Uh, what's your biggest uh, my biggest lot, dude? I've, I've lost a lot. Um, I mean, look, if if you've traded, if you've been in crypto, you've seen stuff go to Z zero. So um, probably my biggest one uh, this year's Arc. I, I, I was buying Arc in February, March, and I, I'm down forty. Now this is a long term, but I, I'm down forty percent. So Arc, Arc Arc's not great to me. Um, I'm trying to think of like a, a crypto that that's just completely like like f me. I'm sure there's a well. There's a well, exchanges have so there was a an exchange called uh, Li Liquidia. I had about probably about ten grand on there when I was just starting out too, and they uh, they went BK supposedly, but it wasn't called a rug pull back then. But it, but I got rugged hard. So um, yeah, I I I've kept a lot of coins as, as much as I do TA in crypto. I do stick with a lot of coins. So um, I'm trying to think of one that I've really really just just for like like even cosmos didn't perform for me for a long time all of a sudden it's it's coming back so it's tough it's tough to say but in stocks yeah I've, I've been i you know but my thing about stocks is if it goes down five six percent on a on a day trade i'm out so i don't really lose that much i mean i'm pretty disciplined about that right because i i hate to i hate to lose more than i love to win i'll tell you that you know so there you go, Jorge. What, what's up, dude? PPSI had major news today. Let's look. PPSI uh, was it was it down or was it up? Ooh, ooh up eighteen percent. Congratulations. How does it finish the day in a red candle though? When it's up. So, but it did. Um, so this thing ran a nine sixty five. Yeah, dude. You gotta, I, this is this is a stay long long now. I, I, I want to see a green candle tomorrow, and I, I think you can start to buy because this is, I mean, again, <laughs> it's not real clear, but I think you can say long above 878. You're at 832 right right now. This thing's run to 14 bucks before, so it can run at any time. Plus, what's the uh, float? Oh yeah, the float's small. Floats 3.7 million shares. That thing can pump at any time. Stay long. Um, I, I don't know if I'm buying right here. I mean, you might nipple a little bit. I'd like to see another daily candle, but that's green. Uh, because this, it looks like this pumped all the way up to 954 and then fell the rest of the day, you know, and it went from 7999 to 832. I'm, I'm guessing, but since it's up 18%, that would mean it went from uh, closer to 7. So it's very, very odd to here. Let me look at that on, on some simple that I, that I can see, see what it did. Oh, it started up higher and it went lower. Just like I said. Yeah. So it's good. It, it, uh, so if, and, and I know you've been at stock for a while too. So what's up T.O. Good to see you. It's a whole, I'd be nibbling though. Cause that, that thing looks like it's going to have some more, I mean, what's safe? What your support is right now is, is the twenty day. Literally, it's been the, the the support of the twenty day has been there for a full month. It would come down and bounce off, and it would just keep going up. Boom, just like that. So there you go. Uh, we talking about crow? Yeah, we are talking about crow. Hits fifty three, which I, I think it's it's fifty two right now. Fifty three. I start to nibble eighty one. I get real long, start to pound it. With a, I believe it was a dollar twenty six is the price target of crow. There you go. Uh, do college courses for trading exist? Like, uh, <laughs> um, I I would bet they they've got to have, look. If you don't like, you can learn. Like the best A education right now is YouTube. It really is. I mean, I've got, I've got a four year old kid. You know what I'm, I'm gonna tell him? You don't have to go to college. But you're gonna sit your ass down in front of that computer and learn something. Now, I think it's good to go to like 
community college and get your basics in, like your like business basics, finance, right? You get you 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 got to know at least that aspect. Get those to get your finance and your business basics in, right? At the community college level, that that that'll cost you a couple grand. You're not gonna go in debt, and then hit then hit the YouTube hard. That's what I'm gonna tell my my four year old when he gets up there. I'm sure it's gonna be changed by then, right? So that's what I would do right now, uh, and then uh, look at certifications in the finance world. What what pays the most? The most like CIOs, which is Chief Investment Officers, they're CMTs. What is a CMT? It is not a a uh, a uh, a rescue guy. It is a uh, it's a uh, it's a market technician, certified market technician. That that means you can tell the levels. It's a it's a TA guy that knows Fibonacci trends. A lot it, there's a lot to know, but it, but but it's all about finance. It takes you two years and two and two tests, and you can't take the tests together. You get, it's every six months. They are, are, are for the test, but, but, but look at the CMT. If I knew about CMT 15 years ago, I would have, have gotten my CMT because it's exactly what I do now, and I, I would probably know far more than what I do now. So there you go. Jorge, what's up, brother? Uh, ABCT going through the roof. ABCT, I think I think we did that one. Uh, when I just, no, we had 22% uh, say nice. Still off its low at 81 cents, 180, 186. Congratulations to you. Um, where do I get long? I, well, first of all, if you're in, in the stock, which, which I'm pretty sure that you are, um, Raquel, I think that uh, I think you stay long here. I, I don't know if I'm buying because uh, so the, the resistance that you're hitting right now is you're hitting the, the 50 day. And you're also right above that coming down is a uh, is your upper trend line in a channel down trend. So you're hitting the upper trend line, and that's where it went today and, and came back down to that 50 day. So where do you get along? Well, you know, two weeks ago it went 214. Uh, I, I actually went 312. So so it, it can do, do that again. Now why did it go to 312? Because I I real I see. How it got there, I don't see like a lot of a lot of resistance there though. So I think I think one eight one eighty six. I target about three bucks, um, and then come back and see me after it gets to three bucks. So that's that's kind of where at three at three bucks I start to eat a little, little bit. And if you want to eat eat a lot, four four sixty four sixty ish. That gets you above the 200 day as well, and then of course you're gonna know this. Get above the 650, and it's all day pound that bad boy. There you go. Appreciate it, Raquel. Uh, what EMA indicator do you use on trading views? I use I use the 20 day, 50 day, and the 200 day bull bear pivot. It's all I use. Right. That that is what most CMTs are gonna tell you that they use. CIOs. Most technicians, that's what they that's what they use. And the RSI is a 14 day. So there you go. Appreciate it, man. Tuscari back in the house. Um what's up, Mark? I, I had you, but then I lost you, brother. Um what's up, Cole Colby? Good to see you. Check out in I I'll check check that in just a second. Uh your T on bird last time. Was on point. Can you check now? It bounced back. Uh, BRD is, is, is it BRD? Um, uh, my, yeah, BR. Oh, that was the. I remember that one. BRD. Let's go. BlackRock Diamond. Or no, you did. Um, you did the. Is it BRDG? The Bridge Investment. I can't remember which. Uh, BRDS is the mobile. Or were you the, um, forget, man, I, I forget. I, I, you know what? L let me know if that's the British Stock Exchange, the German Stock Exchange, um, or are you are you wanting the crypto one? I forget, man, I'm sorry. Forgetting which one you want, but, I, but I'll, I'll, I'll look at it again. Just, just let me know. Yanny, what's up, brother? Uh, 
Thank you, JC. Good, good day. Appreciate you, man. Did you stream on Twitch? I know, man. I really should go to Twitch. I, I just, I, I'm streaming on on YouTube here, but I some some sometimes I get it and some sometimes I don't. All right, N N K T R is up. Uh, N K N K T R. Uh, well, N K T R. There you go. Nectar Therapeutics. Never done this one. Here we go. Nice. Good looking chart. Not the best, but but you can absolutely work with this. Up four and a half today. Oh yeah, baby. So you had the gap up from fourteen sixty, and that it happened today. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So back on what is this? Uh, November fifth. You uh, really November eighth. You had a big gap that formed, right? You went way down on that. That was the fifth, and it. Got back up to that 1468. Now you're at 1537. It's trying to fill that gap, and that's what it did. Within two days, you filled that gap. That's bad. That is really, really cool. So uh, clearly, you're 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 staying long here. I mean, this thing has been green for. I mean, it's showing relative strength 70. It's off. It's off the charts. It's overbought. But there's a reason it's overbought because it's doing this right. Fine. I mean, for two weeks you've been green. This is a good one. This is a biotech too. Uh, doesn't have a small float. Um, price target is 25. Where do you get long? I think you stay long here, man. I really do. I understand you're gonna run into at 1650. You're gonna run into the uh, a a trend line, the, the upper trend line, and you're also gonna hit about that. Uh, but that 1660 is a 200 day. Um, I think where you can get long, it's pretty about 18 bucks. You, you get long at 18, 18 bucks, you can hit it all day, man. It's at 15 to 37. That's not too far away. And it's at a hell of an uptrend right now. That's a very, very good momentum stock. Congratulations to you. NKTR it is. What's up? Um, yep. Thanks for the great info. We, I, we, we did PPSSI out there very, very quickly again. Uh, Pioneer, yeah, this is the one you, you just, it, it, it's a hold. You might nibble here. I'd probably wait till I see uh, it, it It have a full daily candle above $9, and that's where I start to pound it some. All right, there you go. Um, this is should, what's up, man? What's up, Colby? Uh, at what age did you start? Tra oh, dude, I, I didn't start till, I mean, I, I traded, but it wasn't like day trading uh, in 05, right? So, uh, like really trading probably went to like 2012 and I really started trading crypto in 20, 2014 when I, I traded my first Bitcoin. It was, at, it was at 275 or three, I think the trade was 325, right? But I, I was there when they, when all those Silk Road coins were bought, uh, by, uh, Draper 50, uh, 20,000 coins per tranche. He bought the first one was for five fifteen. the The market was was at four fifty, so he overpaid. Clearly, he knew what he was doing. So, but uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, 20, 2012, I started. I, I was trading then. Uh, I had cash out out of a, a restaurant. I was doing some day day trading. Um, again, I've, day trading's kind of been a uh, more of a side hustle. Um, it's just, it's, it's just, it's just never, it's made me money, but it's had made me like overwhelming. I guess I've never thrown myself in, into it. Um, but I didn't really get successful until I promise you when I, when I figured out you buy high, you sell higher, right? Cause you never know what this is. Stock doing this. It could keep could just going down, right? You just never know. So, um, all right. Uh, what's up with so, I mean, I, I get, I get one every day. So far it is. Uh, give me a follow, guys, if you like what I do here. I, I really appreciate. All right, it based out at 1365. It's at 1497. We're in a better place than we were yesterday. Um, although yesterday it jumped to it just as high. So I'm gonna try to help you out here. This is not a stock that I'd be trading, but to help you out, you're you're basically at 15 bucks right right now. There is a clear line of distinction where you get long, and that's 1750. You're at 15 bucks. You're not too far away. Uh, that 1750, you should get past the 200-day bull bear pivot, and, and you'll be past the 20-day, right? 
And those are those those are key. So now, are, are you going to bounce off of those? Absolutely. But again, if you're up there at 17, 50, let's just call it uh, 18 bucks. That that's where I get long. But in, in in the interim, if I had to say, all right, where would I start to nibble? It'd be at, at the sit about about right before like 15.98. Basically, 16 bucks where I start to nibble a little bit because at that point you'd be in a pretty a decent uptrend because it's, it's doing this right, and you want you you want to see a good push up right. So um, get a couple like it's it's been three green green days. You really want to see about six or seven or eight of of those to push up. So there you go. Appreciate it, uh, JC. You knew you knew that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's stuck in the fort. Well, it's not st well, it's been stuck there for about. A week and a half so yeah uh what well, what are wall street bets uh what is wall street bets um i don't know what they're promoting oh we're on the sub reddit that's wall street bets um they like meme meme stocks a lot of those guys are still in uh gme amc uh what else is a big meme stock it, it, uh, s s c y x was was one it's been a lot come and go, so it just depends. You 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 have to go over there. Um, your last twelve inside stocks. Uh, I don't know if I'm twelve and oh well. I think yes. I'm. It's been very good good to me. So if I'm twelve and oh, I would tell you though probably four of those were like you really didn't make money on them, right? So it's not about being right. It's about making money, right? So. I'm 12 and 0, but they gap up, let's let's say 4%, and they run to 5 or 6%. It's tough to make any money there, right? You know, especially if it gaps up and it does this and then it just falls. So I would say I'm more eight and four, right? Uh, we we can call those those wins, but again, you got to make you got to be able to make money. It's the ones that like like they'll do like a gap up to one or two percent. And then they'll like grind at like a four or five percent. You can easily make two, three, four, five percent then, right? That's what I'm looking for. That is a real win. That is a way to make money. Again, it's not about being right, guys. I, I all you guys got stocks doing this, and, and you want to be right. It's going to turn around. It's going to turn around. I swear, right? It's not going to zero. Problem is you're stressing yourself out. And who cares if you're right? Nobody cares. You want to be making money, getting stocks that are doing this. It's simple. It really is, guys. I tell you, I, I, I turned a lot of my life around knowing that. Um, but I appreciate it, though, Ross. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, no, you buy low, then sell hot. No, that's, that's not really the way it works. That's the fallacy that Wall Street likes to sell you. That all, 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 all these whatever, you know, Reddit bros, here's the deal. Stock's here. Stock starts going down. Now, where are you going to buy? Here? But it keeps doing this. Here? Keeps doing this. Here? No. If the stock's here and it starts to do this and it starts to turn around, wait till it gets back up here because you easily do that again. Wait till it gets back to this price and you buy the break breakout. You buy high, you sell higher. Don't let don't let Wall, Wall Street throw you around like that, man. I'm telling you. It, it, it's, it, it's a complete mind F. Believe me. I've been there. Why do you say to buy high, sell high? Well, I just explained that one. Uh, what, what platform are you using to get the data? I use FinViz Elite. I use TradingView. Uh, those are my two best ones. Uh, and then on um, TradingView, I use for crypto. I also use Coin Market Cap. I do like Coin Bubbles, and, and I found a really good one now. Uh, so sorry, Coin Market Cap, and then I use Crypto bubbles and then but i just found a really good one it's called defi llama guys look at defi llama it's got a really, really a lot of good charts one day seven days total value like it's all right there in one screen and it's got yield it's got dexes it's got uh assets staking it's got i mean it's uh the the different chains really really good I, I, i'm just playing with it now but i'm on here now and it's really really good it's called defi llama that's defi l l a m a Dot com. Look, look it up. I, I just found it uh, two days ago. Three. Uh, I, I actually, I found it on Saturday when I was uh, messing around with my crypto. There you go. 
All right, uh, suggestions on what to invest right now. Um, if, if, if I'm investing right, right now, you, you got to stay with the relative strength, right? And that's going to be the semis. Um, I like the semis, and I like the homies. So here, here you go. I like uh, uh, the, the, the homies are the home builders, right? So you got to look at LEN, TOL, TOL, XHBs. Uh, semis would be NVIDIA, uh, uh, QCOM, which is Qual Qualcomm, a AVGO, uh, ABV, ABBV is a really, really good one, MCHP. Um, if you're like, like financials, Visa and MasterCard are both very, very good in doing this. Um, drug manufacturers, sorry, AB, ABV is, is the drug manufacturer. Factor BMY and GLID. I love those. Real estate CCI, SBAC. Uh, the real estate uh, ETF is, is uh, IRM, by the way. Uh, for retail right now, what's doing this? TJX, TJ Max. So there you go. The, that's what I would hit right, right now. Uh, again, those are all showing relative strength. You'll see they're all doing this. I mean, they might be wavering up here some, but for the most part, they're moving up. So there you go. A lot less stressful, believe me. Um, pl platforms, we've got that one by Lone So high. Uh, love you. Hey, I love you too, bro. Love you, Eric. Oh, I know who you are. Uh, why is uh, Trail Energy bullish right now? I don't know. Um, especially with, with, with the Omnicron, I think it, it's, it's, it's gone by Fe February. Um, but, you know, uh, was it CCI? Or it was Car Carnival, right? Let me get the uh, Carnival, where is it? CCL, sorry. Yeah, up, up eight today. It's been, it's been like today. Omnicron's doing worse and it's, it's doing good. So congratulations to the Bulls there. C CCL, I can't, like it's, it's a 20, 20, 54, but it's hitting right on that 50 day is, is the resistance. I would not even touch this thing until until 24. So four more bucks. You've got to go another 20%, basically 15-ish percent. And uh, at 24 is where I start to nibble. And well, no, I, yeah, nibble. But there's still going to be some some over, some overhead supply, not a lot. And most of that supply is back in uh, May, June, and July timeframe, which is which is probably gone by now. So there you go. Um, why is it? I I, I don't. I don't look at the catalyst. It would seem to me that it wouldn't be, but but it is. So something's going on there. Look underneath the surface. There you go. Uh, what is the conversation, <laughs> brother? It's Alibaba. Uh, first of all, let me just say where I stand on China. China, it, to me, stocks in China are uninvestable. You never know what's going to happen. There's geo, huge geopolitical risk. Ask Kathy Wood about that. Ask all those stocks about it. There is one stock that I did like. Baba, I, I, I don't like. I will help you out. It's doing, it, it's it's kind of going sideways, but it's kind of going down a little bit too. Uh, it's at 122. It basically, uh, it bounced off. The resistance was the 20 day. And that's where you sit. 122.98, 123. I can't even tell you to even start nibbling until you get to about 141. 141. And even then you have time. I've got a line way up here from probably back in November that says 180. 180. Then we start to pound. But I don't think you're going through any anytime soon. It looks like it's going sideways. Getting big geopolitical risk. Um, now, there was one X. It was the XP. There was one China stock that I did like. XPEN, I think. It was the uh, uh, XP, XPEV. Yes, XPEV, which is the um, the EV manufacturer. That's the only one I'll even touch right now. Even try to touch. It, it was up 11% today. So I would like to see, it's at 40, 43. I'd like to see it get above 46 in that one. But XPEV is the only Chinese stock that I would absolutely touch right now because of the geopolitical risk and because they're literally delisting their, their, uh, their stocks from American stock exchanges. And we've got, um, we are, 
basically banning the use Biden is Trump Trump did too banning the use of a lot of these companies that you would know right uh, the big one was the uh, chip maker the Taiwan Taiwan chip manufacturer I forget what it is TWSC or something, something like that but anyway point is we're doing that they're doing that to us too it's just it's just not it's it's, it's un, uninvestable to me again that's me not financial advice just telling you the way that I would play that most of your Chinese stocks have done this all year long almost all all year long especially the last half right there you go uh, appreciate it loan is it, is it loan uh, I can't see it Lo, loan Lassiter <laughs> Good day on uh, BF, uh, B, was it BFRI? Yes, we, we, we did that one. Uh, that was a big day, dude. Went, went 44%, could have gone more. It did, it, it, it did go more. So at one, at one point, you were probably up 100%, 200%. So I would stay long there, but I'd watch that sell off tomorrow or the next day. Ho ho hopefully, this is the Santa Claus rally, and you won't have to watch for that. But I, I'd watch it tomorrow. Where is it? I, I don't, don't know when you got in. I would watch it around uh, about eight bucks, seven ninety one. I'd, I'd watch it there for sure. Uh, if it goes below that, it it, it, it could fall quick, quickly. Again, not a lot of data. It's only been out for uh, two months, so TA really does. TA works after about a couple of months, but it needs. When I say a couple, about five to six months or is pretty good usually more than a year so there you go appreciate it man uh uh what palantir what is going on with palantir man basing out damn this this hurts me because this is this is another kathy woodstock guys so up five percent today thank thank god but it'll probably down down tomorrow so I, I've, I've got a line drawn drawn here. I'm going to try to help you out. If you're in this stock, I mean, I really wouldn't be hold, hold, holding this stock now. But if you're in the stock, you're at 1890 right now. I, you need to get to 21. 21 is a key level. At 21, you can start to nibble a little bit, right? But then uh, the second level, you're going to have to be above 24. At, the, at that point, come and talk, talk to me because at that, at, at that point, You've cleared the 20, the 50, and the 200-day bull bear pivot. Boom. There you go. Again, buy high, sell higher. This, this, it keeps doing this, though. When, when is this? Now, it's kind of done this the last five or six sessions, but it could easily drop because it, it's based out. It did, here you go. It did. It went to 1708. It's at 1890, so be real careful there. Uh, what's up, CDO? Uh, BRD USD, yeah. I, I, was, I was looking at the crypto. Um, uh, let, me, let me look. B, BRD, let me look on something. Brad, yeah, let me look on something different here. All right, year long. Uh, yeah, oh, this is the one, the one that pumped, all right, like, like, uh, in the last month. All right, all right, so you are, it's had a pretty good, like, what, seven, uh, it's had a good day. The last seven days, it's gone back to even last month. All right. Um, keeps going down, man. So, last seven days weren't bad to it. Again, it bounced off what was support. Now is resistance. That's the problem. At 88 cents, about 990-ish, right? And it's clear. You've got to defeat that. You're at 85 right, right now. So, right now, it's a hole. If you go above the 90, uh, get above 90-ish in a good up uptrend, I, I'd, st I'd start to eat some then, okay? Uh, where I get real long inbred, again, this it's only been a month out, man, so it's really, really tough to have to tell. So where I get longer is probably at that 110 mark, at that 110 mark. But again, you only have really a month of data. That's not a lot, right? So again, if, if I'm just looking at this, and it's just saying it's a month. It looks like it's a year. That's what I would be telling you, right? So you're, it's a hold right now. 90, you can start to nibble. That 110 is where is where I start to get longer. One Between 110 and 120 is where I start to, start to get real long again. So there you go, man. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, ABCT going through the roof, targeting 17. Ah, 
ABCT, really? Um, I know it did well today. Um, you're you're targeting seventeen or or a dollar seventy? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm seventeen. Target price is seventeen. Wow. Um, let let's let's give me a but give me above that three dollar. You're at one eighty six. Give, give me above three. And then give me above the the two hundred day, which is funny how where that sits at four sixty. Then then come and talk. I don't see seventeen anytime soon. Now now a year from now, talk to me. But again, the best it's done all year is eight bucks. So you would look at you'd be looking at like a like a hundred percent from its you know I, I guess that's the all time high. Let me look let me look look back. Um, no, it's it's gone to thirteen. No, you're right. I mean, it, it could get, get there. I just don't think it gets there. Give it a year. Might get get, get there. Just uh, spitting facts here. QQQ, uh, you got to stay long, right? I mean, what where else are you going to run? You know, maybe a few Megas, Apple, Tesla, uh, Microsoft. Your, your, your three stocks, your three set top stocks, Apple, Microsoft, and Google. Those are the ones that I, that, Clearly, uh, yeah. Just I, I'm I'm staying long here. Where I get longer at, it's clear at, at, at that. If you're at 389, there's a lot of garbage in in there. A lot of supply you got to eat eat through. Recent supply, as you probably know, at 400 is where I get big. You go you go hard then, real hard at 400. The relative strength's above 50 now, and kind of rising. It's had, you know. Two good good days because it, it bounced off, off the lower trend line, uh, and it went through. It actually went through today and ended up above the 50 day. So it, did, it didn't even bounce on the 50. So, but you've got to get back into the trend line, uh, the lower trend line. You've got to get above 392. That's also where the 20 day is too. So it, it will bounce there. So understand it will bounce at 392. Um, you would have thought it would have bounced at through the 50, the 50 day, and it might have intraday, but uh, it look, looks like it moved through it and ended the day at a high. So it's very, very good, good to see. Uh, all right, uh, no, I'll always buy low and sell higher. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what I used to think 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 too. Uh, did the bird triumph? What's up? Uh, if the stock is going down, you watch the red volume decrease to time to buy in. I don't know, Marcus. I don't know if I do that. Um, I guess you could. That's just not not, not the way. If the stock's doing this, like I like to clear my brain, right? So if stock's doing this, it's causing me stress. If stock's doing this, I'm not as stressed. I might be a little stressed, right? Because it could drop. You know, anything, anything can drop. Right, look at what we've had these last two day, these last two years, right? With with Delta now, you know, whatever. Point is, stock doing this far less stressful. Stock doing this very stressful. Why swim against the tide? Why swim upstream? Why? When it's easier to do this, it really is, man. So, uh, yes, are there ways to see when a stock's going to turn? Maybe, but what if it turns and then it goes down? down down again because it still stays in in that same trend. Let's just say it does it, it it's doing this right. So when's it going to turn, right? It's easier when, when it's here. It goes down, does this, finally hits a bottom, starts doing this, and you're like, oh okay, cool. Gets back up, breakout, hit it, boom. That's how the professionals do it. Look, I'm not a professional, but I just know how. how let's just say I, I've got friends that. Uh, Friends that have been in, on, on Wall Street for about, uh, one's been, been there for 20 years. One's been there, one was my roommate in college. So I got a lot from him, right? His name's Travis. Uh, all right, uh, what's your net worth? I'm not going to tell you my net worth, but uh, but I would t tell you that 90% of it, uh, well, yeah, no, probably 8 Eighty percent of it's come from crypto because it's just grown so much. I mean, when you're in Bitcoin in 20, 20 really twenty thirteen, but you started trading it a lot in twenty fourteen. 
you hold on to some. So there you go. Um, Jesus TikTok account has become a, a, a sidewalk in, in Indianapolis. <laughs> Sweet. Do you like the hair bra? I'm getting it cut tomorrow. Got to get the the uh, the uh, do shaved off, if you know what I mean. Appreciate it, Chuck. <laughs> Sweet name, Chuck. Kid brother, like it. Would uh, would you rather buy a company down thirty percent or up thirty percent? I don't know. It depends. What's the TA say? Is it is it up thirty percent and 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 can go three x more and it's doing this? Yeah. If it's, if it's down. 30% continuing to do this, I'm, I'm by the one that's going up. I mean, look, objects tend to stay in the same motion. You, you know that, that's like physics, right? So if it's going down, what's it? The probability that it's gonna to continue to go down is what? Higher than one that's going up, a lot higher. The probability that it continues to go up is very, very, very good, right? And again, are you really gonna bet against the, the, the American stock market like Warren Buffett says that's all Warren Buffett did was he got in some phenomenal stocks, right? At good prices 70 years ago. And it just did this. That's a very easy lie. Now, in the last couple of years, what has he done? Right? He's kind of played around in private equity. He's done a, some of that. He's done very, very well in that, right? But again, he buys good companies that are doing this. The growth is doing this, right? So there you go. Um, law of inertia. There you go, Scott. Scott just laid it out for me. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, Unity. I don't know what I think of Unity. I'll, I'll tell you what I think of the, of the chart. I think it's a hold right now. I think, in fact, not a bad chart. Not a bad chart at all. Um, this is a Kathy Wood special too, right? So it's at 145. I think if it like, if I'm looking at the, at the TA. 120 is where I jump out, but I think I'm long here. Like I've got a line from I don't, I don't even know when. I've got a line at 142, 143, and it's at 145. So it's a, I would say a nibble here. You can nibble here. I think I would get a little bit above that 153, which could get you above the 20 day. At 153 is where I go hit that bad boy because because now you got overhead supply coming in. But it's doing this a bit, right? And 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 you've got so it so that particular that the like right the 140 has. I mean, you can go go back to freaking November of 2020. You can go back to February. You can go back to uh, September. Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a very very good good play. Like right now, I think you you can nibble. If that 153, 154, I get real, real long at that point. Pound it. Again, not found your vice, just what I would do. What's up, Joe? Jacoby or Joe? What's up, brother? Uh, uh, why does ETH, Doge, and BTC look like the same up and down? Because this is the most correlated that uh, that crypto has ever been to, to the stock market. That's, that's one of the reasons why. So, again... Most quite in 12, or uh, sorry, since since 2012. So uh, there, are, so crypto's just moving in sync right now. Um, so at this point, you so this is where I, I talk about relative strength. That, that's why you want to jump on the ones that have the relative strength, right? The relative strength is going to be Luna, uh, Paul, sorry, Matic. Uh, look at uh, da, 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 at. At AVAX, at uh, at AHNT is phenomenal. Right now. The People's Network, Helium, AHNT is doing well. XRP is doing actually pretty well on a relative basis. Um, I'm trying to think of a few more. Um, AVAX, Luna, Sand, 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 Sand is what I, I was trying to think. Of. So those are all doing on a relative basis better than most. So just just to let you know. That is what I would be looking at. Um, all right. Uh, well, she would go back up. Look, man, I'm, I'm playing Shiba the way that I, I played Doge in 2016. You just buy what you can and think it's, it's going to zero. And four years later, it worked out for me. Again, I have no idea, man. I, 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 I think Shiba, it's got the most, the most 
Ethereum addresses right now. That's all that I know. Okay, and so that would tell you it's, it's got a very, very strong base, right? So uh, you would think that that would mean something, right? But again, you got to get all those people rowing the same way. And uh, most of those people are probably newbies that are in that. I'm in Shiba. Again, I, I put in, I don't even know what I put it in, like 300, 400 bucks again. Probably more now. But point is, Let's let's just see let's see where it goes again. It, it's just it's just one of those things to me. It's what I call a fire and forget it. Like if it comes back in two three years and it's up, you know, five thousand or or, or five hundred thousand percent again, great. If it's not, I get it. You know what? I took a chance. It's a lottery ticket, right? Doge was the same way. A lot of these are cat. Like I, I'm in Cat Girl. Uh, I'm in, uh, gosh, uh, Time Wonderland. I'm in o o o uh, OHM. I'm in, what are some more that are just, uh, oh, Meta Hero. You know, I think that one's actually a fairly good project. But again, I'm betting that it may go to zero. So I'm not putting a ton in that I can't afford to lose. Just, just letting you know. I uh, appreciate you guys. I really do. Uh, it is getting to four o'clock and, and uh, I get, got to get home to the squid is uh, got church not in fact is there a minimum number shares floated that makes you decide yes or no well uh, no there is not what, what I do like I do like to see the stocks like you guys give me the stocks that have some very small floats and the small floats are great because that they, the retail guys can really pump them right not just retail. The, the, the hedge funds, the institutional investors can pump these things very, very quickly. So they're not, even though the stock's doing this, it could pump at any time. Again, I don't play that game, right? But you could, right? And uh, that's, that's, why you, that's why you get on the subreddits and the discords and the, and the message groups, right? And you just, you know, fill your mind with, with that. And, and if they say it's, it's, it's going to pump at some point, they probably know. Right? They probably know. Again, that's not how I I do it. Um, but um, there are a lot of people that 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 do. I would tell you a free Discord. You're you're better off in a paid Discord. I would tell you that. I I, I think the best Discords are ten dollars or more. If you're in a two a two dollar one or a five dollar one, it's probably penny stocks. Those. So here's what takes takes place really quick. So the guru the guy you follow on tiktok on whatever he's like okay it's it's gonna pump and it's let's just say it's at 50 cents well it goes down all the way to 24 cents before it pumps back up to 50 cents is that really a, a good call well the guy was right but did you really make money no that's the thing i'm not trying to be right like some of these stocks going down are absolutely going to pump and going to do phenomenally well and i'm going to be wrong and that's what, that's okay cuz I'm not trying to be right. I'm trying to make money. That's it, guys. Only reason you're in in the market is to make money. That's it. If you're not in the market to make money, get out. Crypto's the same way. I hate to say it. I look, it, it's changing the world. I'd like to change the world too, but at the end of the day, I got to feed a family too, you know? So that's how I play it. All right, guys, I'm about to jump off here. I'm just letting you know, know that now. Please give me a like or a, a like, a follow. And uh, I really appreciate that. Really would. Uh, I, I do put out an, an insider, which I'll, I'll do an insider video real quick. In, insider stock, stock trades. I'll do that really quick here. By the way, if y'all want a preview of that, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one right now of what uh, insider trades um let me look at UEPS that looked like a big one um no no give me, give me some else uh I like the ones no 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 uh ACTG here uh ATG you, you might look at ACTG for tomorrow. The uh, the general counsel and the CFO uh, sized up 
big time. 60% and 21% larger positions. ACTG. It will probably gap up tomorrow, just letting you know now. Um, pivot. What's up? HI. What? Uh, no, that's not one that I would play tomorrow to start the day. Um, here's one. MTRX. Let's go. M MTRX. Um, it's two. It doesn't have the volume. See, th 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 there's a there's a whole litany of things that go into the insider calls, right? It's not just did, did the president and the CEO buy, or were there numerous buys, or how big were the buys, how big of a position were the buys? Is the stock just just going down? I will say this, totally, uh, totally different than what I've been saying, but. On the insider buys, I'll give you a little clue here. The insider buys doing this, and all of a sudden it's it's literally down down here. It's just going down, 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 right? And somebody, you know, clearly, if somebody's going to buy five hundred thousand dollars worth of that stock, they know something, right? The at, those are the best ones. Those are the ones you'll get the five, six, seven, eight percent boom, just just like that. Those are the best ones. Again, you can go to Open Insider. You can see the same thing again. You're probably not going to play them the same way that I have because it's taken me a, a year to kind of, you know, get through what what actually is going to make money the, the next day. But those are some of the the, uh, the those are some of the rules that I or or some of the guidelines that I follow. Also, you you don't do banks. Um, uh, I'll, I'll 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 look at B. What's BFRRI doing after? It, it, it's up one one percent in after hours. Um, what is City Trans C T R N? Oh, it's a sixty-seven dollar. Plus, the the cheaper the stocks, they typically do better too. Just so you, just so you know. Um, so, um, here's H. Oh, here's here's why. But this is gonna be big. Uh, HSDT, let's look. HHSDT. Don't have. Look at HSDDT, but again, it's got no volume, so it's not going to do any anything. It because it, the CEO si sized up. It's a crappy stock. Um, where is my time frame here? I'm going past my time time frame. Um. Gosh, guys, there's not a lot of insider buys. There's not. So right now, let me look at A AXDX. No. No, it, 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 they purchased 1% is all. Not a lot. So you guys may have just found out which one I'm going to go, go with. I, th I think you did. So, uh, AC, here, let me make it, let me make sure. ACTG. Yeah, ACTG is probably the call. Just, just letting you know, guys. All right, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much. We, we got up to, I think, 55 people on a fairly good, good, good day. Um, it's probably Christmas. Uh, sometimes we'll, we'll get up to like 80, 90. Um, so appreciate it today. Um, I do, I get on here at two o'clock every day. I will be on here tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central time. That's 3 p.m. Eastern. If you're playing out in the Eastern time zone. Um, so 2 p.m. And we talk crypto. We talk uh, TA on stocks. Uh, hell, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about anything you want to talk about. Appreciate you too, guys. I really do. You guys are bad badass um i promise you i won't be wearing this this lime green <laughs> hoodie again I, th I think i've worn this twice in two days it's cold here but tomorrow guess what 72 tomorrow i'm feeling it so with that being said guys watch your six go hard in the paint and we will see you tomorrow 2 p.m central thanks guys peace Thank you guys, Chris, Chris Cook, uh, UEEC, Uranium.
Um, oh, yeah, it looks good, bro. 347, I get long right at that. Yeah, that's a pretty clear. 380-ish, I'd get long. I'd get longer above four, about above four bucks, and then I start pounding it. Bam. So there you go. Appreciate you guys. I really do. Uh, thanks, Chris. Thanks, William, for jumping on here. I'm out.